It is my pleasure to introduce a pioneer of racial and gender egalitization and one of the great Latinx performers of our time, George Lopez! <laughs> Muchísimas gracias, and I want to say, how are Z doing tonight? <laughs> that is a non-gender biased pronoun. Thank you very much. Yeah, listen, I'm honored to be on your campus. The last time I was here, the cops were called pigs, and I was being busted for holding a lid. <laughs> That's when weed was called pot. And you had to get it from your cousin, the shiftless weed dealer. And now you get it from your cousin, the weed doctor. <laughs> weed rule. <laughs> you know, I'm still kind of adjusting to Donald Trump being president, I got to tell you. Right? I'm not saying that he's our first fascist president. Wait a minute, I think I am saying that he's a, our first fascist president. Oh. That's right. Donald Trump has a problem with immigrants. I say, stop marrying them. <laughs> tell you something. I don't know what problem Donald Trump has with Mexicans. He sucks. That's right, he sucks. He don't like Mexicans. Let me tell you something. Donald Trump is Mexican. He's got all the signs. He's got kids from three different women. He don't pay his taxes. And he's not taking a salary for being president. Only a Mexican could take a job from a black guy and do it for less money. Hey, hey come on. I'm making fun of Trump. These are jokes. Racism isn't funny. Maybe not in your hands. That's why you leave it to a professional. What are you doing? Cut his mic, Lance. Listen, go back and stand over there in the dark where you were. Lance, you touch that mic, I'll unscrew your fist, and I'll throw it on the top of this f auditorium. Listen, you guys, are you really afraid of hearing words? I'm talking about freedom of speech here. You guys are booing freedom of speech? It's the number one constitutional right that you have. That's why it's number one, it's the most important. And number two is the right to bear arms. Make him stop. Listen, you should be able to hear anybody say anything. If I wanted to say that I thought Donald Trump has made America great and he belongs on Mount Rushmore, I hope that you would think that that was a joke, all right? 